All right, now that we've learned about inverting, non-inverting amplifier topologies, let's take a look at this particular uh, example circuit. Uh, so the goal is to figure out what is the voltage output. Uh, in this particular case, uh, this circuit looks slightly different from the simple inverting amplifier that we looked at. In this case, we have three separate voltage sources. Uh, so let's, let's analyze this particular circuit. Now, whenever we analyze an op-amp circuit, we always start out with the first basic assumption uh, of an ideal op-amp. So the ideal op-amp basically allows us to say that the current going into the negative terminal and the current going into the positive terminal are both equal to zero. So no current goes through those terminals. It also allows us to say that the node at the positive terminal V plus is equal to the voltage at the negative terminal V minus. In this case, we'll choose a reference node at the bottom of the screen. Uh, of the circuit, so that whole node is equal to negative. In other words, the V plus is then equal to zero volts. So that means the V minus is also equal to zero volts. And just like the way we analyzed the amplifier configurations for the uh, inverting and the non-inverting amplifiers, we'll start out by arbitrarily choosing the current direction. So let me draw the current directions arbitrarily. So I'm going to draw current this way. I'm going to draw current this way, and I'm going to current draw current the, these ways. So I'll call this I1, I2, I3, and I4. So the current directions have been drawn. Now, each of these voltage source has zero volt on one side. That means the other side, this guy right here, is two volts. This guy right here is four volts. And this one right here is equal to three volts at that node. On the other side of the 10, this top 10 ohm resistor is this particular node. This particular node is equal to V minus or equal to zero volts. So that's zero volts right there at that node. So uh, let's apply Kirchhoff's. So to this node, let me call that node A. At A, apply KCL, Kirchhoff's current law. If I apply Kirchhoff's current law at node A, the sum of the currents going into that node a are I1, I2, and I3. And the current going out of node A is equal to I4. So I1, I1 is the current to the top 10 ohm resistor. It has 2 volts on one side, 0 volt on the other side. So I1 equals 2 volt minus 0 divided by 10 ohms. I2 is 4 volts on this side, 0 on the other. So 4 minus 0 divided by 10. And I3 is 3 minus 0 divided by 10. And that is all equal to I4, which is node A, which is 0 volts, minus this node is V out, again divided by 10 ohms. So we have, so if I read, uh, if I write this properly, I have two tenths plus four tenths plus three tenths equals minus V out over ten. Now there's ten on each of these. So if I multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side by ten, so let me multiply both left and right hand side by ten. If I multiply both left and right by 10, then I am left with cancellation of this and cancellation of these guys. So I'm left with 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9 volts. And that's equals minus V out. In other words, V out equals minus 9 volts. Now, this particular configuration of the op amp. Uh, there's negative feedback. Uh, all the voltage stores are uh, in the inverting terminal of the op-amp or the negative terminal of the op-amp. And there's multiple voltage sources. So this particular configuration is also sometimes called the summing amplifier.
We can do a weighted sum by choosing the ratio of the feedback resistor and the different resistors in the path. In this particular case, we happen to see that the feedback resistor and the other resistors in the path are all 10 ohms, so they're all equal. So the ratio of the feedback over the input resistance is 10 over 10, so that's equal to 1. So it really basically just adds up the voltage source. And if you look at this, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 2 is 9 volt. And since this is in going into the inverting terminal of the op-amp, the voltage polarity gets flipped, hence we get nine, minus 9 volts.